Peace. Good morning. So it's early. You know, it's about quarter to eight. And um, it's a wonderful day to me. It's a Friday. It's a holy day. But it's a beautiful day because I'm looking at the elements, sitting inside of the elements. The rain, the thunder, the lightning. It's a beautiful day. And it's an even greater day to talk about Allah. So, you know, right now, I want to discuss the 99 attributes, the Asma al Husna. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very important that we really get a, get a draw on what this really means to, to, to um, distinguish the truth from falsehood. A lot of times, people who don't understand the science of Islam will say things like, you know, Muslims or, or anybody who deals with Islam are polytheists. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you hear this, it's because of the Asma al Husna. People don't understand what that is. So I'm going to break that down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? The 99 attributes of Allah are attributes, are basically the expressions of the one. You understand what I'm saying? They are not 99 separate demigods or things that people say. They are the expressions of the one creator. Just like in the Yoruba religion, there are over 401 expressions of the one creator. You understand what I'm saying? This does not mean that these expressions are deities. What this means is that these expressions are the attributes of the Most High Creator, just like the Most High is an attribute of Allah. So the power behind the Asma Al Husna is in the remembrance. And what that means is, is that whenever you call on one of those attributes in the form of what we call zikr, which is constant repetition of, of repeating, you understand, a particular phrase, a particular word, or a particular attribute, or whatever it may be, as a Christian, as a Buddhist, as a Muslim, as a Sufi, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But with these attributes, this is the method in which we remember our Creator. But in the process of remembering our Creator, we are also empowering our spirit selves to become these attributes. To take on the frequency and the vibration of these attributes. As our Holy Quran, Circle 7, says in Chapter 1, that man... Deeply placed in him are all of the attributes of Allah. So therefore, the power in the Asma Al Husna is to recognize those attributes and what the attribute means, the benefits that come from that attribute as you zikr it. You know what I'm saying? For instance, you can zikr, you know, anything in the science, anything dealing with Islam. Or the Quran, because the, the the names come out of the Quran, but there are also more than ninety nine names that we recognize. There are tons of names, and all of the names of the of all of pardon me, all of the attributes of a law basically tie into creation. All of these attributes make up the attributes of creation: the Creator, the Destroyer, the Sustainer. You know what I'm saying? The Protector. All of these things make up the different aspects. Of creation itself. Even our prophet, Noble Juali, gave you two of the attributes in our Morsh American prayer. Remember the map, the Morsh American prayer, a map is a guide. A map gets you to a destination from a starting point to a finishing point. You understand? So in our Morsh Holy Quran, there is the statement, pardon me, not in our Morsh Holy Quran, but in our Morsh American prayer, there is protector and guide by night and by day. You understand what I'm saying? Because the night came first and then the day came in creation. But protector and guide by night and by day. These are two attributes. Why did why did the prophet use protector and guide? Allah is my protector and my guide by night and by day. Because there's a power in the science of protection. There's a power in the science of guiding. And most of the times we as people, when we make prayer or petition, we ask for protection and we ask for guidance. So that is something that is on you when you speak it. But the thing is, you can gain that protection and that guidance. You know what I'm saying? Simply, well, you can enhance the protection and the guidance by zikering, by remembering that name. You know what I'm saying? That name of protector in the attributes, in the Asma al-Husna, the protector is Al-Muhamin. So if you, if you, if you are zikering Al-Muhamin, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, what you're doing is you're building up the vibration of that protective frequency. You know what I'm saying? That will become you and sit on your heart and you become that very attribute. It's like when we say, 
that the sacred name can be used only by executive rulers of the of the Adam Chamber of the More Science Temple of America. That 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 name, when you say it, it causes things to happen. You understand what I'm saying? It is the same thing with the zickering, with the remembrance of the 99 attributes. You know what I'm saying? With with utilizing these different attributes, it causes things to happen. You see what I mean? So there's science in the attributes because man has the ability to turn on the attributes because remember, the attribute itself is a word. Yah, Muhammad. Yah means oh, protector. Muhammad, protector. But the thing is, the word Muhammad, 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 the word itself is where the power comes from and the power comes from the sound of the word as the word vibrates see the vibrations grow stronger and stronger the more you pronunciate the word you see what I'm saying so with that being stated I want you to understand on this holy day that you should be remembering your creator at all times because in order to remember your creator what does it do for you it enhances your spirit as well as enhances the protection the protective gates around you you see what I'm saying in the same way we zicker off the attributes we can call on angels in the same manner the seraphim or the cherubim whatever you choose to use and however you choose to use it but you have to understand the application and what we have and not just the regurgitation of words this is a science this is not religion the prophet used religion for a reason you understand what I'm saying but he, what he gave us was much more than religion you understand faith is the surety that man will reach theific life all of the prophets exhibited faith even our prophet Juali exhibited faith he came in on a, on a demonstration of faith you understand so when we when we understanding that we got to understand what we dealing with this is not dogma it has never really been dogma it has been turned into dogma because people don't value the application of the information how to apply it the usefulness comes in its application, not in the regurgitation. So again, with that being said, give a law praise. Because in order, while you're giving a law praise, you're praising and giving honors to your own higher self also. Because that is that a law that is in you, that peace that's in you. And when you give praise to a law, to Allah, you are giving praise and honors to your higher self, which you should be doing anyway. Because that is that which breeds justice, mercy, love, right. It is a law in man. That's what it is. So you need to be always cognitive of that. You know what I'm saying? That a law is here. That a law is near. Closer to you than your own juggler vein. So what does that make you? The conduit. So you must do it. To be the conduit, right? So in the power of zikr. There is a strength in the power of zikr. And you have to understand that. The repetition, the repetition. It's just like in it's just like in combat when we doing certain when we when we doing certain things with our hands or whatever. You know what I mean certain drills. What it does is it creates muscle memory. The muscles, the, the muscles have cells, and the cells remember. You know what I'm saying? It is the same thing when you calling on these these attributes. Mind never does forget. You're pulling in frequencies, and you're pulling in things that are eternal. And you're placing it on you, these vibrations. So the thing is, is that you must learn how to remember your creator. You must learn the science of zikr and mantras because it's power in that. And on this holy day, I just want you to remember that. Peace and love.